Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a brand new tutorial for the Lift Tech Jupiter stuff, for learning Lift Tech Jupiter. So I've had a couple requests of, we get it, we know how to install programs. Are you willing to give us like a preview tutorial on something more customized? And I thought about it, and I decided that was actually a really good idea because that might get more people engaged in seeing what we're doing with the Lift Tech Jupiter game engine. So I wanted to make this tutorial today to actually show you how to convert old school source engine models um, from their MDL format to Lith Tech Jupiter and how to actually import them and basically mod them into Combat Arms, Nolf 2, AVP 2, Fear, um, Contract Jack, Tron 2.0, pretty much any Lith Tech game this should work for. Lift Tech Jupiter. Lift Tech Jupiter. It might work for other game engines as long as you can find the plugins for 3DS Max to export files. The one thing I'm going to say before I really get into this is it took me a long time to find a model that works. Since 3DS Max 7 is so old, you have to find models that are of equal age. Even with the decompilers, decompilers are crazy inaccurate usually unless they're very, very well made, kind of like Model Unpacker from the Crossfire section on MPGH for LTB to LTA. Um, that's an incredibly well made program. It seems like the stuff for MDL to SMD is just terribly made. And I'm not knocking the people that make them. It's, it works. That's the goal. They work. But let me show you how I got to the, at least this point in... Uh, importing a weapon into 3ds max 7 and actually getting this all set up so there's a lot of things you need there's a lot of things you need <clears throat> so first of all you need to go to cannon fodder's site his half-life 2 uh website hold on hl2 My internet's really slow today for some reason. That's the only reason I'm not really streaming this. But you need to go to Cannon Fodder's website and you have to download the 3DS Max plugins from him or from here. I don't know if it's a him or her, uh, but whatever. So you need to get the exporter and importers. You need to get the importer specifically. So you want to go to 3DS Max tools. Oh, before I forget, shout out to lith.tech because like I do in every video, we're trying to grow this community, so I want to shout out every single community. But Lith.tech, they have some incredible content, as well as Lith FAQ is coming back. Um, it's still in early stages, I believe, so there's not really any sections or anything. But you can, you know, try to register and, you know, be in here for it. And then obviously there's our website, LithArchive.org, where... Um, I'm slowly going to be starting to post this stuff on litharchive.org, not on some separate page. Although I do have a Google Sites web page set up that I'm slowly adding this stuff to. So register here, register elsewhere, register wherever you want to register, you know, whatever. I'm going to be posting this stuff here. But let's get back to the tutorial. Enough shelling out my soul. So yes, this is a very, very old thing. It makes it very difficult. But the... Tools for LithTech are not updated beyond 3ds Max 7, at least officially supported from Monolith. There might be other plugins out there for newer versions of 3ds Max or Maya. I don't personally know of them, so I don't, I can't tell you about them. <laughs> but uh, you're gonna want to download the the SMD importer from right here from Cannon Fodder. And then you're going to want to open up that, this is awkward, I'm already in the folder I need to be in, but you need to open up that RAR file, so make sure you have WinRAR, go to your 3ds Max install directory, I'm talking too fast and I'm making myself lightheaded, go to plugins, simply drag and drop this here, and you're good to go. Now after that, launch 3ds Max at least once, go to your customize, plugin manager, and just make sure that it's uh, actively running or actively uh, done up. So it should be SMD IMP. 
So it's right here. You can see it's loaded and it's good to go. If it's not loaded by default, you can right click it. You can go selected plugin and load and it'll simply load the plugin and you're good to go. From there, we need a newer tool called Crowbar. We used to use the Studio compiler and it just doesn't work with newer models. Granted, I've kind of realized that even newer models just don't import properly into 3ds max but you know i'll figure that out at a later date and let you guys know what you actually want to use is a tool called crowbar mdl decompiler so you can find it here on github um github uh github git github sorry i'm frazzled there we go so come here go to releases Oh, here it is. Sorry. I went to the wrong place, apparently. Releases. And this was actually released eight hours ago, which is awesome. Are incorrectly written due to incorrect changes in Crowbar 6.6. Oh, this might be why a lot of the models weren't exporting last night correctly. Hmm, I'll have to try some. So, simply download this. It's just one executable file. Uh, put it wherever you want it. I have it in here, my crowbar folder, or uh, my folder here, and you're good to go. Next up, you're going to want to find a model. My favorite place to go to find models is here on Game Banana because they just have such a huge selection of models. So we're going to go down and we're going to find something. Uh, the wrench didn't work, unfortunately. I wanted to do that because knives, I believe, personally are easier. There's the RPG you could try, um, the M4 thing. Uh, let's see, what do we want to do? What do we, I mean, I already have a weapon that I know works, so I don't know why I'm looking for a new one when uh, it might not work. Staple gun? <laughs> okay. Um... Just want to find, let's find, oh, it's loading new stuff now. I have it set to load the oldest stuff first, and now it's suddenly loading new stuff. Interesting. We're going to do, we'll do this thing, because this is a slick looking pistol. So you want to click manual download when you're here. And this will tell you right here the specific files. You want to make sure there's VTF and uh, MDL files. As long as there's VTF and MDL, you'll be fine. Just simply download, open with, whatever. doesn't matter. And then go here, make, you know, I have a folder set up for it. Uh, I don't remember what this was. Was this the shotgun? <laughs> Uh, no, this was another pistol. Pistol 2. I'll just name it Pistol 2 because I'm <coughs> forgetful. And from here, you want to open up Crowbar. Excellent little program. Simply double click it, open it up, and you want to go to the decompile folder. From here, you want to click Browse, and you actually want to go to your MDL file, which is going to be Models, Weapons, and you're going to want V. V holds all the animations. And from there, you can uncheck QC if you want. I don't know what a QC file is, but it worked when I had it clicked, so I guess I'm not gonna unclick that. I don't know what I'm doing. Just kidding. I somewhat do because sometimes it works. Export. Make a new folder for your exports. Just simply copy it from here and paste it up in here or browse to go to it. And then just simply hit decompile. <clears throat> now you'll see there is that was not planned. That was not planned. Rip headphone users, I'm sorry. That was not planned for this video. I did not know. You saw, I just downloaded that out of the blue. I'm very confused right now. Anyway, let's... uh. <laughs> Oh my 
my god, that sums up my life. Just completely unplanned. Everything is unplanned. Are all of them? Okay, not all of them are named Penis. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Alright, uh, open up uh, 3DS Max here. We're going to uh, reset. You don't have to do that since you don't already have something imported. Simply open 3ds Max, go File Import, change this to uh, Suck My Dick, um, since that's apparently the theme of this video. Go to your weapon. We're gonna find out if this works together. Go to SMD. You can uncheck this so you don't get annoying prompts. Sweet, it works. Kind of. It looks like it's missing some shit, but yeah, it's missing a little bit on the arms and stuff. But I think that's just because that's stuff you don't see anyway. But as you can see, now we have the gun imported. So you can click down here to watch animations, but we don't have any animations actually imported yet. So what you do from here is import one at a time. Oh, not the penis. You import one at a time. And luckily you have everything named already. So first we'll import draw. And you can watch the animation here. It's even like missing shit, but that's okay. This is for a tutorial. And then you want to go export and you want to have your LTA stuff set up, your Lithtech stuff. So model, you want to select the model one. This is the draw animation. I don't know why my computer beeped, but that's okay. And then just name it draw, leave it as it is here. Um, you don't need to mess with any of this, but you could if you wanted to. And then you would just tell it where the texture is or something like that. The one thing I never really got down well was texturing custom models. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. That's where a little more knowledge than I have, if you look further into this, is going to be helpful to you. So model exported successfully. From here, you can import the next animation. You can do fire. And you can watch it. You can even like speed it up and stuff like that in here, but you can also do that in model edit on uh, the next program I'm gonna show you guys. So export, we're gonna call this one fire, fire, fire exported successfully now we're going to import holster so this is deselect which you could make instant if you wanted to you don't have to have that animation for combat arms for example you can make that instant um so this would be called deselect in uh combat arms actually so i named the draw one incorrectly hit okay hit okay um import idle Let's see what this thing does while it idles. Sometimes people do really cool animations for this. This thing just sits here and kind of wiggles. But that's good enough for me. Idle 0. Idle 0. I'm going to go idle to low. So this will be like idle one, for example, on LithTech. That's basically just deselect, so we're not gonna bother uh, exporting that one. Let's see, low idle. Yeah, that's all pointless, you don't need that. Um, you can do, and then, oh, reload. That's, you know, that's important. And this will be, oh, that's a cool reload animation. I like it. So this is reload. Export. Reload. Reload. And there you go. So now they're all exported as LTA format uh, files. Damn penis. Anyway, so from here, you're done with 3ds Max. You're done with Crowbar. Let's make it an LTB file. So first off, you need to go to your Jupyter install, you need to go to your tools, and you need model edit. Model edit and model packer. So simply open this up, go file, open, 
and go to your uh, directory for this crap. Uh, it's going to be in the C, weapons, pistol 2, export. Wait, didn't I put them in here? Where did I put those? Oh, shit. Oh, I clicked import, didn't I? Where did I export them? I accidentally put them in my uh, meshes folder. We're going to move these manually real quick. Uh, give me one sec. But So make sure you put them in a place that makes some goddamn sense. We'll just name this folder LTA. Kind of skip that stuff, my bad. But uh, you want to export all of these to a folder that makes more sense than where I put them. There we go, so now they're in a place that makes sense. So now you want to import the LTA files. So you can just start with whichever one. Um, these are just your basic uh, animation dimensions or your 3D model dimensions. So if you set these to one, you can kind of clip through walls or you can just leave them as is. Um, so if you think about it, X is going to be, as you can see here somewhere, <coughs> uh, X is this way. No, X is this way. So the guns rotated, I just noticed. I think. Is the gun rotated? It's on the Y for some reason. We're going to ignore that for now. So this is why you would change the dimensions to like... You can do that, current animation, and that sets it to the actual size. I don't remember how to zoom in. There is a way. Um, I thought you could zoom in. But as you can see here, it's uh, imported. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to exit real quick. We're going to reopen model edit because of the issue with it importing the way it is. I want it to import correctly. So just give me one second here. Oh, not model packet, mo model importer, whatever. You could also do import, no model currently loaded though, so you're gonna wanna hit yes. Then we'll do deselect and you can do UZ. And now you have one of your things imported. You can do draw. And that'll import it correctly. And as you can see, that's supposed to be select. I'm going to fix these real quick. I have a certain order I like these to be in. But we're going to go, we're just going to import all of them, basically. Oh, yeah, idle and reload. There we go. So all three are now imported. So you want to just call this fire <coughs> idle zero and reload. Now from here, no, we want that. I have a certain order these have to be in just for like my own sanity. Deselect goes at the bottom, idle goes before fire. Now you might want to. Uh, duplicate some of these so you just right click duplicate and then rename them to match whatever game you're using so like they're in combat arms there's an idle zero idle one there's select deselect there's pre-fire post-fire fire zero fire one pre-reload post-reload and i think for select few weapons there's some other things but what you can actually do is you can Create a single frame animation for pre-fire, which will go before fire. 
you can do create single frame post fire, which will go before reload. You can do that for pre-reload and post-reload. And then those go before right there. And then one thing you'll want to do is you need to name this fire zero, duplicate it, fire one. I don't know. I forget the reason that it has that. And something I should have done first is I need to see where it's, so the highest point is at the first frame. You can actually add keyframes, I believe. I'm trying to remember how you do that though. Maybe you can't. Yeah, I'm lying to you. I'm pretty sure there is a way, I just forget how. I think you actually have to do it in here. So like when it says, Um, sample every five frames. You can do like every two frames, for example. And you'll actually, I think, get more keyframes because this is every. F There's not that many. F How many frames are there for reload? Because that's what we have loaded right now 110. So this is every. F this is frame time. Got it. So that's number of seconds. Got it. So what you need to do is you need to add, and that will actually tell the LithTech Jupyter Engine to um, basically actually push a bullet out of the weapon and shoot at another player. And then you can also have like sound clips and stuff like that. I don't remember these off the top of my he head. I think it's like sound key one or something like that. I don't remember exactly how those work, but it'll basically it'll play sounds for the actual reload stuff. But as you can see, all this stuff is here. And it's pretty good. You can actually like move around and model edit and see everything and there's movement encoding and it it's a pretty slick uh, tool, honestly. But now what you want to do is you kind of got to figure out if you're on the correct axes or not and a great way to do that is actually to launch a second model edit and open up something like a combat arms ltb to lta uh, model that you converted and i have those here i believe i believe i have them in here maybe i do not have any guns exported right now? I might be wrong. I don't have any at the moment, but what you can do is you can basically open up another LTA file, make sure the weapon is on the same axes as a uh, basically like it would be in game. The most you might have to do is either a 90 or 180. So you can basically select every animation and you can actually um, rotate it right here and you can rotate on the uh, Y axis basically and just do like 180 for example, or we'll do 90 for the video here. And as you can see, it'll rotate at 90 degrees for you. You can do any degree you need, really. Um, we actually used to use this kind of stuff for um, iron sights. We used to make iron sights in combat arms as a mod because the game didn't actually have it. Uh, we're gonna go negative 90 to make it the same as it was. So the way we'd basically do iron sights is we would move it transitionally. So you can like, mess with it a little bit you can go translation or uh not dimension i guess it would be translation yeah so you do like translation you can move the model up and down uh, move it over if you need to or out or back and forth and then from there we would actually make iron sights that way we would basically move the idle around until we had an iron sight or do it as we were shooting and it was a cool little mod um, and something I would actually see, like to see added to combat arms, uh, for weapons that don't have scopes and stuff like that. 
but you know, that's a pipe dream. Or, Radeon, I know you watch some of my videos at least. Um, maybe if you've made it this far, are you willing to do custom animations in your Combat Arms Reborn? Because uh, I would be so down for built-in iron sights. Like, hold right-click while you have your gun out and it moves it up into an uh, iron sight position, then left-click to fire. I think I, I think that's a fun idea. But if you want to make it LTB, now you just go compile, and you just name it whatever you need it to be. So we're going to call it uh, custom pistol, save it, and you're going to, we'll just say use Z for every single one, because that makes it smaller and easier. And now we have it as an LTB file. Now you might be wondering, what about textures? You didn't go over textures at all. And that's because, A, I don't have Photoshop. Uh, B, while I know how, um, I believe you can use cannon fodder for it, or uh, crowbar for it. You cannot use crowbar for it. I didn't realize that until now. Um, maybe I'll make a part two <laughs> on textures. Because I just realized I don't have a way to extract the textures. But um, basically your textures are housed in the materials folder. Weapons. And you're going to want to do the main folder, not the W. And you can actually do pretty much any of it. So you want to do like barrel or actually I might be able to view these. Hold on. <clears throat> I think this will let me view those. No, it will not. Never mind. I don't have BSP viewer or VMT viewer yet. I kind of forgot to get those. I'll, I apologize for that. But I'll do, maybe I'll do like a second video and I'll do the textures, um, import it to a game, convert them to DTX and everything, and you'll be good to go. But right now, this is the 3DS Max tutorial on converting um, source engine models to Lith Tech Jupiter and basically making it like a. Uh, just a free-for-all as far as um, lift tech is concerned because now you can just convert any model you want almost from the source engine granted yes some of them are gonna fail I've had a lot of them fail but I'm gonna try some maps I'm gonna try some characters I'm gonna try to get BSPs working so I can convert BSP to um, LTA I think think someone's already done that but I've been having problems with it so I'll figure it out and once I have that done up um, I'll make a video on how to do worlds which will be custom maps and then I'll go back to the normal tutorials of starting at the beginning think of this as like tutorial number 10 um, kind of like a preview and we'll go from there so I'll talk to you guys later I hope you guys enjoyed the near half hour tutorial on how to do custom uh, models with source engine models from Game Banana. So I'll talk to you guys later. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I still can't believe it came it came out named Penis. Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.